Hi, I'm Miranda Simon and you're watching City on the Mic. Hey everybody, I am Miranda Simon and I'm here with the owner of Yo Martez, Martez Hawkins. Thank you, thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate you guys. My name is Martez, first given name. That's my first name, not my last name. I started off doing barbering about six years ago. My friends suggested it to me. I used to work in like fast paced industry. I like the jobs where I can get money the day I do it. Like, so I was a server, mm -hmm. and then I graduated to bartender eventually. My buddy suggested, hey, why don't you uh, try barbering? If you go to school, you'll have a job at Truly Blessed. And I was like, say less. So <laughs> okay. I went to barber school. How often do you think people need a haircut? What would you say? Minimum, I'll say like at least every two to three weeks you should get a haircut. But it's more about if you care about that sort of thing. Is there like a, a cut that you get asked to do more often? Most requested haircut, probably gonna be maybe like a drop fade. A drop fade, the drop portion is just telling you kind of like positioning. So I'm gonna be doing mid ball fade on you, correct? So this is gonna be the top, so it's gonna be like higher. Mm -hmm. Middle's gonna be like in this area, and then lower is gonna be like down by like the ear. Okay. If they wanted a bald fade, I'm gonna bring the bald about to here. So everything underneath the comb line is gonna be balded out to skin. Now for drop fade, with me doing the ball fade mid like this, like I mentioned, in the back, some people have like rows or anything in the back, so you'll drop it lower so it kind of hides those blemishes or whatever you wanna call that for personal appearance. What separates me from everyone else in the barber game mm -hmm. is definitely my communication skills. I'm not afraid to talk to people. A lot of my people that come to me, they told me they like to just come for therapy as well. So Aww. we chop it up about whatever, you know? Especially all my married men, we talk about our wives and we all live the same life. Like, <laughs> mine too, bro, mine too. I feel it, you know? So I think that for sure sets me apart. So how do you get children to get comfortable with you? I'm a kid at heart, so I play. I make jokes, clown on them a little bit. We talked about trends or fashion, talk about um, things being fire, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever okay. to identify with them that, I, hey, I'm, I'm cool, I'm hip, you know? And mm -hmm. those are the words you don't want to say to them. Cool and hip does not sound cool to kids. Oh, that's you know not what I'm style. Yeah, you right? don't want to say that. But, I, but that was just for, for the ones who don't know, putting a little game in their ear. I've learned that if you can make a kid feel comfortable, that's going to be a customer for life. Mm -hmm. The mom's going to feel comfortable or the dad, whoever. You don't even have to be the best barber if you can just communicate with somebody, make them feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. They'll give you more of a chance versus if you're like the best barber and booked up all the time and like you, you might not be personable enough, you know? Tell everybody how can they reach you. We're local in Abilene, uh, 1290 South Willis. It's a big plaza known as the People's Plaza. There's a lot of different businesses and a lot of sites to see. We don't only cut hair, we also sell clothing and shoes. We are on social media, all platforms, Yo Martez. GoMartez.com. That's where you can book a cut, pay for some clothes, come pick up clothes, get clothes shipped out. If you would like to be featured on City on the Mic, go to MirandaSimon.com and request an interview there. And for all your real estate needs, call me directly at 325-513-8444. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody. your town, meet your neighbors, support your community.